In this video, we're looking at alternating series. And so these are series where the consecutive terms just switch plus and minus signs every single time. I've shown two slightly different alternating series here. And to illustrate the difference, just if I plug in n equals 1 into this first one, then that makes the first term negative. So it's like a negative a1. The second term, I'm going to square the negative 1, and I get a plus out of it. So I get plus a2 minus a3, and so on. All right, so we're talking about a's that, were, that are considered positive. So we can look at the sign of each term easily by having a minus sign or a plus sign out in front of the a's. The second series, for what it's worth, starts with a positive number. So when I plug in n equals 1, I get negative 1 squared, and I get an a1. Then I plug in n equals 2, and I get negative 1 cubed. Well, that's negative 1. So minus a2 plus, et cetera, et cetera. So the starting point doesn't change anything about the, the convergence test that we're talking about. All you need to do to show the convergence of an alternating series is satisfy these two conditions. The first one just says the next term has to be smaller than the previous term. The second condition says that the large n limit of the terms must go to zero. If you show these two things, then it proves convergence of an alternating series. So let's check out an example. In this example, I've handled the alternating signs in a slightly different way. I put an n minus 1 there. So if you plug in n equals 1, you get negative 1 to the 0, which is positive. So I'm starting with a positive term on this. This series actually has a special name. It's called an alternating harmonic. Okay, so let's start testing these conditions. I want to show that the next term is less than the previous term. So my goal is to show that an plus 1 is less than or possibly equal to an. And an plus 1 is just 1 over n plus 1. Remember, the ANs are just the positive parts. It doesn't include that alternating sign. And AN is just 1 over N. And because the denominator is bigger on 1 over N plus 1, that's clearly less than 1 over N. So we satisfied our first condition. Then we look at the limit condition. The limit as N goes to infinity of AN. And that is unambiguously 0. So we've satisfied both conditions, and our series converges.